Okay, uh, another one part of uh, descriptive statistics that we want to look into is the uh, test of normality. Yeah? So, uh, how do we conduct the test of normality? Same thing, uh, you have to go to analyze, go to descriptive statistics and click explore. Yeah? So, what you do is you pick the variable yeah, that you have already converted into scores. Okay, you put it here in this list here. And then you click statistics. Okay, you don't have to do anything here. Okay, and then uh, you can click plots. Click histogram. You can untick this uh, stem and leave. Normal plots with tests. And you click continue. And then you click OK. So this is the results that you will get, yeah? So we look into the descriptives first. What you have to check for is skewness and kurtosis, these last two values here, okay? Now, a rule of thumb, for skewness, it should be plus minus one, and for kurtosis, it should be plus minus three, yeah? So you can see the values here. If you look into the value of uh, skewness, you can see it's negative 1.4. It's deviating from one. Kurtosis, it's 4.8, and it's also deviating from from three, so we can see that it's not complying. Yeah, uh, it's not showing normality. Now, one test that we always will depend on, and which is the most important test that you have to see for normality, is here, which is Kolmogorov and Shapiro-Wilk. Yeah. So now, for this test, okay, what you have to see is, okay, I'll just put it in words here for you. Now, you need to, we need to understand the hypothesis in this testing. Okay, so what does the null hypothesis states? Okay, it states that the sample comes from a normal distribution. Whereas the alternative hypothesis, which is your H1, states that the sample hypothesis does not come from a normal distribution. Okay, it means that if you are saying that your data is normally distributed, it means you fail to reject the null hypothesis. Yeah, because you want to say the data is normally distribution. Okay, but if you reject okay, the null, it means your data is not normally distributed. Yeah? So let's say if you, if you are selecting a significant value of 0, 0 0.05 or 0 0.01. Okay? So any value greater than the significant value, okay, which is non-significant results, shows normality. And that means you need to reach a point where you fail to reject the null hypothesis. Yeah? So let's see here okay, uh, in our SPSS. You see the value here is, it is less than 0 0.01. And if you look into Shapiro-Wilk, it's also less than 0 0.01. Okay, they have used 0 0.01 okay, as their significance value. So it means that okay, your data is not normally distributed. You fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So it means your data is not normally distributed. You can even look into your uh, histogram. Yeah? It's skewed. So your data does not show a, a bell curve here. Yeah? So your data is not normally distributed. We also usually check for normal uh, QQ plot. Now, all these data points, yeah, all these data points, okay, they should be in one line over here. Okay, they should be on this straight line here, this 45 degree line here. Okay, but you can see some okay, points are deviating from the 45 degree line. Okay, so again, indicating okay, non normality. Then we can also look into the detrended normal QQ plot. Okay, so this is a zero line. Okay, so these are the scores. So you see the scores should be okay, close to the zero line. Yeah, they should not be somewhere else showing a different trend. Okay, they should be close here. So you can see there are some data points which are off here. Yeah, so that's for your detrended normal QQ. You can also look at your box, uh, box plot. Okay, can you see this is the center line? This is your median. Okay, it should be in the center here. That means it should be equally divided. Uh, then your data is normally distributed. But you can see the space is not normally distributed. And at the same time, can you see there are small, small circles over here? These small, small circles here are showing you outliers. Uh, okay, they are outliers in the data. Probably this can be the points yeah, that is affecting the data's uh, non-normality. Yeah, so this is how yeah, generally we will check data for its uh, normality test. Yeah.